Hello, this is the wrinkle. Pop up. Welcome back to the final episode of Food Finder Season 3. So today we have with us Aaron and Hello. Genevieve. This episode is about Cafe Hopping. I'm super excited about it. Because you yes. always bring me to hawkers and I love cafes. Is the food important to you or is like ambience? I think the ambience is very key. The ambience will make or break whether I want to go there or travel all the way there. Yeah, so one thing about me right is if I don't drink my coffee by 1pm, I will get an incurable headache. Incurable. Incurable. Yeah. Even yeah, with Panadol, agree. right, I can't get rid of it. So if after, let's say, 2 p.m. you drink coffee, too late already. That too sounds late. like an addiction. Cannot, eh. cannot. Yes, my body is addicted to coffee. We're gonna go to our first cafe of the day. Let's go. We're at the first cafe, 28 Cafe. This is at 28 Wilkie Road. Have you guys been here? I've never no. been here. Never been here. It looks slightly colonial. Colonial heritage, heritage vibe. La. Let's check it out. Okay, so there's a, a QR code to order. I think the first thing that came up, so it recommended me a bottle of wine. Yeah, 69% for Jen also. We're both alcoholics. <laughs> and then mine is different. Uh. My first recommender was flat white and I'm a white person. I'm white. There's one that's quite interesting, but I don't really want to order it. Smoked salmon igloo. It's like they use smoked salmon to wrap into a dome. I think inside have like a poaching. I was looking at cold truffle pasta. I'll have a flat white please. I will just get a latte. It's wow. a real flat white. Yeah. I feel like the coffee extraction like not not enough. Do you taste the rosemary? I like barely tasted the most berry. But actually if it's too much, it's also very like disgusting. Mm -hmm. Overpowering, yeah. Overpowering. Okay, first look, the igloo. Where's the igloo? It became a rose. <laughs> You ordered this specifically because you wanted the exactly. igloo. Exactly. <laughs> I think Singapore's weather's too hot, la. the igloo melted. It's basically eggs, guacamole, and smoked salmon. Fun fact, last time when I used to be a chef, right? You used to be a chef? Yeah. Oh, that means you never watched the previous episode. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I was expecting a little more from like yeah, the igloo you right. know? Right now, it just looks like a really basic but, cafe but right, dish. Actually, one of the things that I really don't like about cafes, they always try to get by with like basic food. Yeah, every single cafe will have like eight men a day, kind of thing. Uh, moving on to the cold truffle. truffle pasta. I love cold pasta with like, you know, sometimes they'll do like aburi scallops. They'll saute like fried garlic. It's a lot about the oil for cold pasta. Pasta charges. With my spoon. Okay, I like the texture of the pasta, but I find it can do with more seasoning. It's a bit bland for me. Are you guys a fan of alfalfa sprout? No. No. It reminds me of like raw tauge. For this dish, I feel like it's a bit one-dimensional. I think they should have added more truffle oil. Add more texture, add more variety. Because right now it's just noodles and barely a sauce. If you use angel hair for cold pasta, I think it works. One, two, three. Three more five. Three. One! Please explain the most shocking answer. I mean like, I don't like coffee, but the coffee is really bad. Coffee is like the essence of a cafe. If it's not good already, then like, I don't know what to say lah. The food was like, super disappointing. The things that were okay came from a packet. I think the thing that they can do for themselves is to find better kitchen. Then the guacamole, the colour, I don't know why, the colour is a bit off-putting. Then the pasta also, very disappointing. The truffle is like, very flat. It only hits you at the first mouth. After that, it's gone. Okay, I'm a big cafe person. So, my my the bar is really high. My, my bar not very high. I wouldn't say it's bad. For the price though, it's a bit X. All of this was like 70 plus. So it's not cheap for this quality. Yeah, actually that's true. Uh. Okay, sorry. Can I change my answer? I changed it to 2.5. Uh. I also want to change my answer. Uh, I think I'll fail there. To two. Okay, I'm gonna change it to two. I'm gonna change it to 2.5. You mentioned that here they do a dessert omakase. Yes, yeah. there's this catkin. They do like a dessert omakase, like course meal, and they do it on the weekends. That's something that like I would look forward to for right. this space. Desserts might be their, their strong point, but that's it for the cafe. We're gonna move off to the next place. So we're here at Great Mall. Actually, Great Mall is new, right? Just it's open. Very new. The cafe is on the second floor, so we're gonna go check it out now. Let's go. Bisu! I think the, this is a very French Yeah, I got the cafe, Paris vibe. Right? It doesn't feel like Singapore here. La. I'm excited. Let's go okay, let's check talk. it out. You know right, Jen, just like uh, you, were, you, were, you were saying that not a lot of cafes have elevated menus, right? One look at the menu, I think it's quite elevated, right? It is, it is really it's really it's elevated. elevated. Yeah. And also, okay. I love the theme. Yeah, that is like right. a very clear, like this is 
French. So you get like croque madame, a lot of like the pastry, the salad, and it's also a little bit like Middle Eastern because there's like shawamas. Enough talking, I want to start eating. Foods here, we got different sizes of drinks. Look at mine, it's so tiny. Nah. I feel cheated guys. But it's supposed to be small. I don't think I've had coffee in a metal cup before. I don't think you will love this because it's very bitter for this. Ooh, it's definitely stronger than the previous one. I like it. Okay, we're gonna try the shashuka. I love the heat. The heat is like suddenly it just comes, uh, hit you. A bit spicier than expected. I love the sausage, uh, it's very like intensely flavoured. The taste is like very well developed. There's like this very meaty taste, which is possibly from the sausage. They possibly fried it with the sauce. I think this really matched my drink. It's like very savoury, very spicy. Yeah. Well, something sweet and cold, okay. it's very nice. Okay, let's try the crazy croque madame. Prosciutto, so that's egg on top. Yeah, it's like uh, cheese. Uh, yes, looks like a lot of cheese. Uh. There's prosciutto in every layer. Including the bottom layer? Yeah. I like how fluffy the bread is. Uh. There's like sweetness to the bread also. I like the cheese. The cheese is uh, quite strong. Every element stays true to yeah. French, like a French meal. Good cheese, good ham, good bread, and a proper egg. Yeah, I think I know why the chicken is so spicy. I think this is jalapenos. Yeah. No, nah, it's bell pepper. Jalapeno is green. Yeah, that's yellow. I'm colorblind. Green, no. This is green. Green and yellow, are yeah, similar lah. Bitch, is you blind? I'm kind of obsessed with the sausage. Mm. Yeah, most of the time sausage is like quite flat tasting, but this one has a lot of flavors. What this place shines in is the quality of produce. Like you can tell they use really good ham, cheese, sausages. The flavor of the sugar is also well rounded and nice. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Jen dropping things. It's one prawn. Oh! I have a barista friend who told me that if the foam on top starts to bubble like after like one or two minutes, the milk that they use is like not, not such a good quality. Leave a comment and tell me if it's true. Like just now you asked me right whether I prefer this space. So far I prefer bisou lah. Must say it with a French accent. So far I prefer bisou. Ah! If I were alone, I would like to sit near the window and just stare yeah. in blank space. Like a parishion? Yeah. Rating. Four. Uh, okay, 4.5. I'll give it 4.5. Minus half, I think mostly for the price. It's a bit pricey. I think I'll give it 4.5 as well. I think this is like one of the better yeah. shakshukas I've tried. La. On to the next spot, French kiss. Mwah. Okay, so we're here at the... Uh, where are we at? Dunlop, Dunlop, Dunlop How do you pronounce it? Dunlop, Dunlop. Dunlop. So we're at this steep cafe. It's a Muslim-owned establishment. La. So let's go check it out. So here at Steep, I think they said they were around for a while, but yes. they the menu is recently, but they've been here like two years. Price wise, it's like really friendly. Like yeah. everything is between like twelve dollars. I like it that they got quirky names. Like, you see, like fish problems, sneaky steak. I wonder what is right. sneaky steak. Hey, this is not rib eye. This is a rub eye. <laughs> I saw the Google review. Yep. It had a 4.4 oh, and then it's like 100 plus, 100 plus reviews. Right. I don't know, I have like high hopes for this. I'm quite curious about the rabbi. The rabbi? How oh. sneaky is the sneaky steak? I'm gonna try the chai latte. Okay, I'm gonna get a flat white. You wanna try the red velvet chocolate? Menu transition. It's also golden brown and nice. Oh yeah. my god. Presentation wise, like really nice. The mm. eggs look promising. Let's go for the scrambled eggs first. It's still a bit more cooked than I would prefer. Yeah, all right. But I guess it's not like cooked to death like just now. It's creamier. I actually like the butter texture more in the other place. But Dunner's this is slightly runnier. Ingredient wise also, it's not going to be the atas like you know bread like they use breadwurst or what. Like these are like just franks. But for the price, I'm okay. But hey, it's beans. fresh beans. Oh. Wait, what's that herb? Cumin powder? How spicy is it? Very mild. It reminds me of uh, Mexican rebaked really? beans. Fresh wedges with the skin on. I love the char on the skin, but then the potato inside is then fluffy and soft. Everything you can feel like it's really homemade. Unpretentious in a yeah. way. I want to yeah, try the bread. It looks, the bread looks good. And the bread really nice. Eh? Oh, very buttery. Yeah, I like the buttery taste of it. Try the titters. So there's bonito aioli with just taters. It looks like perfectly golden brown. Uh. The tater is good. The bonito aioli is very sweet. Uh. It tastes very mayo to me. But I can't really identify what is Japanese about it. I mean, tater tots is not a Japanese thing to begin with. La. You know what would be great? If like the initial flavour tastes exactly like a okonomiyaki or like a takoyaki, you know? That kind of flavour profile. Mm. More bonito, seaweed. I'm still missing that moishi part. Drinks are here. What do you get? Flat white. Red velvet chocolate. Red velvet chocolate. Ah. 
chai latte. This one is local beans. It's really just the traditional roasted beans that you get in Singapore, but they turn into a latte. Mine tastes like a red velvet cake straight up in, oh. a, in a cup. Seriously? Actually, he's not wrong. It tastes like a frosting. Let's continue on oh. the sneaky... Oh, the sneaky side. A bit adverse to like blueberry on stick though. I have paired blueberries with pork chop mm. and balsamic. Was it a very fat pork chop? Yes, it's like a fatty... Like, yeah, you need like chop. enough fat. If not, like you can't... Go. Ha, ha, ha. Now it's your turn to drop. Whatever this looks like on camera is not what you think. He's coming, I'm coming. The gastric is quite interesting. It's not as sweet as I thought. It's on the more like like sour Acidic side. Acidic side. I love the mash. There's additional seasoning on the stick. What is it? I have no idea. The gastric is a nice idea, but like I said, you know, I paired the blueberry with pork chops, pork chop. which is really fatty. Like, I get it really crunchy as well, like really crispy. And it matches because of like the sweet and the really savoury fattiness that like, it cuts through. But this one here, I think the meat could be fattier. That's okay though, it's, it's still tender. But I get the concept though. I love how the mash is so buttery. I love the vegetables. It's like really crunchy. I can't ident identify what spice is on the steak. Maybe that's why it's called sneaky because you don't know what's sneaky. on the steak. Yeah. Only thing I can think of is shiokoji. I think what you're thinking is like the itchness yeah, of yeah, the yeah, steak. Yeah. It, it does yes, taste yes, a bit yes, itch. Either the koji or this meat is itched. It's definitely not spice. There's Maybe no spice, spice out there that tastes anything like this. So your producer went to ask what's in the steak. Aragano. Aragano! Boom! The flavor is quite interesting. It's not like regular steak. It's more unique. Molten chocolate cake. lava cake. This is good. You like it? This is like a typical chocolate cake. Yeah, I feel like this came from the same supplier to many cafes. If it's generic, the crust won't be so crispy. The very generic one, it comes out like jelly, like pudding. This one is like, there's like this crust and then the I soft, find... moist part. Three, two, two one. one, four. four. The okay. price point is okay. right, the portions are big. I think they really put a lot of effort in like every component. It's basic ingredients but done well. Some yeah. cafes can't even do that. And I like it right, because normally vegetables are like not the main stuff of the dish. People usually don't pay enough effort to do the vegetables well. But this one they really like, you know, make sure the broccoli is chopped properly. So there is a indefinite promotion going on. What's the promo? Spend $60. And get 10% off. Good yeah. deal. Pretty good deal. And it doesn't end. This promotion is forever. But yeah, we're gonna move off to the last spot. Let's go. Okay, we are at Kandahar Street now and we're gonna check out this pancake, pancake and, waffle. and waffle. Are you guys a uh, pancake or waffle person? I like both like how? Uh? Okay, waffle then. Waffle. I'm team waffle. We are all team if waffle. If I had to choose, it would be waffle. Okay, let's go check it out. The last spot. So as expected, it's mostly a pancake and waffle menu. Very interesting flavour. I like it that everything has like a waffle or pancake choice. Okay, there's this ham and cheese one. It uses three different cheeses. Everyone was very excited. The chumpadak. So, chumpadak yeah. creme brulee. Oh, that's definitely unique. Hmm, menu transition. It looks like it came out from a picture. You know how like they always say for illustration purposes only? This one right, the menu looks exactly like what came out, you know. I love how like accurate it is. Even the stack is really nice and tall. Okay, Vijay and Travis. Savory. Ooh, this is cheesy, man. There's like three different cheeses here. The parmesan is like really strong. This pancake is really fluffy. It matches so well the cheese that you think like the pancake is the cheese itself. I'm very interested to try the, the maple. maple with the chili. Chiracha chili. Interesting. I prefer the pancake. Okay, wait, okay. let me try the chicken by itself without the sauce. Super so juicy. juicy. The chicken good. It's like um make crispy. <laughs> Better than make crispy. It's lightly salty by itself though. I think if you match it with the rest, like the waffle and the maple. I want to try the pickle as well. And the pickle. I don't know about you guys, but there's something so familiar about the taste of the sauce. McDonald's. McDonald's. <laughs> the hot cake sauce. To be honest, I'm not a big fan of their waffles. The chicken is really good. The waffle itself. But the chicken, the batter, the, the seasoning on the chicken, I think it's really good. Okay, I'm gonna taste I'm the I'm gonna taste up. the sauce first. Yeah, yeah. Like the champadak. Champadak custard. Yeah. Custard, right? Oh my god, look at the goo. Champadak. Champadak, cheers. Cheers. It's like so spicy. Ah! Wow, the intensity of the chumpadak is like... It's like a punch in your face. It's blowing my mind, man. It's like just chumpadak. Yeah. It's immediately... It's like you're just eating chumpadak. I think if you love chumpadak, this is very good. The fragrance of the chumpadak is, is so intense. Really strong. I feel it is very... 
subjective to the person. The more I eat it, the more cheesy somehow it tastes. Cheesy? Thinks. Yeah. Like very jelak. Like jelak, yeah. yeah, yeah. Jelak. I think the tea helps to cut away the jelakness of the pancake. I love the like overall as a dish. I love the ham and cheese the most. I think it's executed really like textbook good, you know, all the layers are there, fluffy pancake. Honestly, when I saw ham and cheese, I was like, hmm, ham and cheese isn't so impressive. Like how great can it's it be? It's not normal, yeah, right? End up when I eat it, right, ham and cheese is like the best. One, two, three. Cream on my face. Oh god! There is definitely things that can be improved on. But I like the consistency. That's all. I think we can conclude this happy episode. Okay, what was the most delicious dish? <laughs> For me, it was the bisu chicken chorizo shasuka. Sausage was like mind-blowing, so flavorful, very unique for me. Across the board, everything is just like very French. <laughs> and even the drinks as well, each one of them had their own unique characteristics. Right. I think I really like Steep's coffee. I thought that was like a very robust coffee. La. Like it, it woke me up. You want to go through comments? Jen stole Seth's thunder. Jen more outspoken than Seth. Never give him chance to speak much. Oh. Maybe, right? You need to be like a bit more a bit crazy. More. It's pisang goreng, not goreng pisang. I think for Singapore, we call it goreng pisang. You know, the Malay proper Malay, Malay grammar is pisang goreng, right? I see. Now first. So sorry. I forgive you. Jen is a beautiful person except for voice and body figure! Oh my god! Oh, no. You don't chi by. Okay, maybe like my voice. I think it's always something that I've been working on as well. To have like a maybe better uh. tonation of voice. The beauty standard, right, is like across the board, like really hard to identify. I mean now, yeah, like really okay. skinny people are like what is seen as beautiful. Don't judge people on like their figures. All those people out there, just love yourself. It's kind of like Okay. To those people who <laughs> like want to say anything about it. Uh, this one says, Self complexion also like Bakma. To which I gave a very witty reply, you can go and read it. We've come to the end of season 3. So yes. moving forward, right, we're going to create like a chef cooking series. She's uh, headed by me. So hopefully you guys will like it. Come on, Aaron, sell it more, sell it. We haven't super firmed out the idea. So, you know, we're still planning this. We would launch this soon la, with Aaron. I think because it's like the last episode yep. of the season. I mean, from me and Aaron. We thank you guys for like tuning in and watching. And, for watching, and also, they're not here now, but they're gonna send a really nice message. It's Joy and Gary. And that's the end of season one, or no, not season one, end of this season of Food Finders. I'm here in Penang. I just wanna say a big thank you for all of your support uh, and your comments. I thought they were hilarious. Thank you for having me as a co-host for parts of the show. I really enjoyed meeting all of the different people on set, the crew, and also just eating a lot of great food with Seth. We also got to meet a lot of the owners of those restaurants and learn more about those places, so I really enjoyed that. You know, quite surprising because I've never received comments like that before, but anyway, it is Chinese New Year, so I'm going to get back to my family. I will see you again next season. Alright, bye. And thank you guys for supporting. I hope to do more of it. So please comment to ask for joy back. Thank you guys. Happy New Year, New Year. And hope to see you guys soon. Bye. Again, do remember to like, comment, subscribe, turn on notifications to our YouTube channel. See you again. Bye. bye. Do -do 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 yes! Finish one season. It's like 12 episodes I've been recording. <laughs> Does that make sense? <laughs> Does it look like someone rubbing his butt?